The man charged with threatening a mass shooting at Carroll University is now in a Waukesha County mental hospital. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson explains the expert's diagnosis, the judge's ruling, and why the case is still far from over. Timothy Heller is sick. Is there an order on this? Can we put objections? Yep, 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 yep. But whether he's guilty of making terrorist threats, we'll have to wait. On Thursday, Waukesha County Judge Michael Boren ordered Heller be involuntarily committed for up to a year. In Mr. Heller's best interest. The 61 year old Milwaukee man is accused of making threats of a mass shooting at Carroll University in 2018 and again this year. The school hired him to teach a physics course in 2017, then fired him when students complained about his erratic behavior. School officials say Heller has been harassing them ever since. Spends all of his energy uh, explaining why Carroll University is responsible for his predicaments. Dr. Jenna Neese says Heller suffers from severe bipolar disorder with psychotic features. The media is maligning him. The the prosecution is malicious and that this is all some big conspiracy. The alleged threats against Carroll are also part of a pattern. Heller was charged in 2012 with threatening to shoot up a social security office in Barrington, Illinois, and again in 2018 with threatening to shoot workers at the Lake County Courthouse in Waukegan. Probably the most concerning letter I've ever received. It's been eight months since Heller was charged in Waukesha County for renewed threats of a mass shooting at Carroll. I think I have to raise competency as well. But it wasn't until June that Heller's own attorney um, so asked for a mental health evaluation. Rapid speech, pressured speech, racing thoughts. And on Thursday, Dr. Neese shared her results in open court. We put forth some legal strategies that I could not put into words for you because they didn't make any sense. The details of competency evaluations are usually private, but Heller objected to the findings, prompting a yes. public hearing. Does he have the mental capacity to understand these proceedings? Intellectually, yes, but the nature of his symptoms impairs his ability to apply that knowledge rationally. So the court then finds that the defendant is not competent to proceed. Not only did the judge order Heller be committed to a psychiatric hospital, he ordered the involuntary administration of medication. Just a surprise. Heller's 96-year-old parents appeared shell-shocked as bailiffs led their son away in handcuffs. We wanted help, and we got help. Now they hope that help will finally calm his troubled mind. If he goes through the system, comes out, a capable human being uh, in society, it would be worth it. The legal objective of the involuntary commitment is to restore Heller's competency so he can participate in his own criminal defense. The court will review his status in 90 days. In the meantime, a hearing will be held on a motion to dismiss his felony charge altogether. That hearing is scheduled for December 22nd. Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators.